Microsoft is constantly trying to improve the built-in PDF reader functionality of the Edge browser. In today's session, I will be showing you how to add a video link or a video comment to your PDF document, which will allow inline playback of these videos without leaving your PDF document. In addition to that, I will also show you how to add a website link and open the link inside your document using Edge browser. It's almost close to embedding a video and a website inside your PDF. The video comment feature in Edge browser allows you to attach video tutorials, reviews, or other similar videos. This is an incredible way to explain your content to your viewers or your students. Imagine having all the videos and the worksheets in one place. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhumani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. Here is a demo of what you're going to be learning in today's session. This is a PDF document opened up in Edge browser. And yes, this is my YouTube lecture video playing in line with this document. So my students can be listening to my lecture while they're working on this document. They can pause, they can fast forward, they can rewind and they can play it at their own pace. Once they're done, they simply close it. Now let's go all the way up here and I have also attached the formula sheet for my students just in case they need some extra formulas while they're working on these problems. They can close the formula sheet, they can work on the problems, but wait a minute, what if they need help? I have attached the extra hint web page right here for my students where they can have the example one hint, example two, example three, so on and so forth. So my students have a YouTube video inside this document. They have different websites inside this document. They have all the resources inside the PDF, which has been opened up in Edge browser. So without wasting any further time, let's go ahead and see how to do all of this. In order to open up your PDF in Edge browser, the first step is to download the Edge browser. I will leave a link in the description box below. Once you're on that link, click on download Edge. Go ahead and pick your Windows 11, 10 or 8. Mine is Windows 11. I'm going to click on that, scroll all the way down, accept and download. Once the installation process is complete, let's go ahead and open up our Edge browser. And the first thing you will do is you will click edge colon backslash flags again i will leave this in the description box below just copy and paste it in your edge browser and click enter in the search you will type in video video and the first thing you'll see is add video comments you will click on this little icon here and make sure this is enabled so you have to do this step before you start adding your video comments because they will not be available until you enable it once you click enable edge browser is going to ask you to restart it go ahead and click restart and you all ready to go so i'm going to go ahead and close this one so here is my PDF document. I will right click open this in Edge browser. Because I'm in Edge browser, I would love to take advantage of its full screen by pressing F11. And now I am free of all distractions. YouTube tells me that 90% of my viewers are not subscribing to my channel. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how can I improve and win your subscription. While you're here, I highly recommend checking out all these amazing features Edge Browser has to offer. I will leave a link in the description box below explaining all of these just in case you're interested. But for now, let's go ahead and add our video comment. As you can see in my PDF document, I have a text here that is designated for my class lecture. I will go ahead and highlight this and let go as soon as i let it go all these features pop up now when you hover over them they will tell you what they are one is copy search define highlight add comment but you are looking at adding a video comment let's go ahead and click on that and here i will paste my youtube video which is right here and click on this check mark now let's just say you did not like the yellow color go back and click on it and it gives you an option to change your highlight colors i'm just going to leave it to yellow for now and once you're done once you pick the color you want i always recommend playing your video comment just to make sure the link is working 
So when you click on it, you these options pop up and let's go ahead and play the video comment. Amazing student. This is As you can see, the video is playing. My students can forward, backward, rewind. They can make it full screen. They can have closed caption. They can pause all while they're working on the document. They even have an option to move the video to any place on the screen. Once they're done, all they have to do is simply close it. And again, I highly recommend playing your video before you save it or before you send it to your students just so that you're making sure all the links are working. Now that we have added a video link, let's go ahead and add a formula sheet, which is a website. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight. And again, these pop up. You're not adding a comment. You're still adding a video comment. So let me go ahead and click on that. And let me just see which one is my formula sheet. I think it's this. I'm going to check mark here. Again, it's a good practice to click and make sure you play. Even though this is a website, you will still click play video comment. And here is my formula sheet for my students. Again, they can move this around. Once they are done, all they have to do is close. Now let's go ahead and add a Wikipedia or Wolfram Alpha site explaining what a unit circle is. Again, I'm still choosing add a video comment. I am going to pick the site that I want, which is MathWorld, and I'm going to click OK. Again, it's a good practice to play. Keep in mind you're only adding these as video comments so they can be embedded or played in line inside your document. So play video comment. This is the site that I have added to the text and you can see this is completely available to my students. The entire site is, they can actually read what it is, they can go over it, move back and forth. Once they're done, they can close it. So let me go ahead and add one last site here. Again, it's a video comment that you're adding. Let me paste, um, let's just say I'm going to paste this one, click OK. Again, good practice to play your video. And here is my homework help. I have attached hints for these problems just in case my students get stuck. This is another idea how you can add a website into your PDF document. Once this is done, they can close it. Or if you decide you do not need any homework help, click on these three ellipses and delete it. And once you're done, please make sure you save this. In my classroom, I make sure my students understand that they have to open this PDF document in Edge browser for all these features to be available to them. So it's a good practice to tell your students how to download the Edge browser, how to enable the video comment feature so they can play all these videos and watch or use these websites in the PDF document. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learn how to add a video comment or almost embed a video inside a PDF document. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know this could be a game changer for all the educators. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Interactive PowerPoint, Canvas, and Technology Playlist. Do not forget to check them out. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know if you like this feature and how would you use this in your classes. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.